what's going on you guys it's your girl vanity v and today i want to talk to you guys about something that's been on my mind but it's for all of my people who enjoy fitness who love working out and for those of you guys who are looking to get into fitness and are kind of scared to you know you don't know where to start so before we get started don't forget to like and subscribe you guys and share this video with everybody so let's get into it okay you guys so I always say it, I scream it, I scream it from the mountaintops. I'm always talking to you guys about how much I love fitness. And honestly, how much fitness have like has like literally saved my life. Um, not only do I love it for the physical, you know, improvements that it has, both on you know your body, your cardiovascular health, but mentally, like fit, you know, fitness has literally helped me through depression through anxiety it you know it improves your mood and everything it just fitness is a form of therapy right but what i wanted to talk to you guys is about some of you who are discouraged in your fitness journeys okay and i wanted to talk to you guys about the number one well there's two things that you have to have when it comes to improving your fist your physical fitness and your mental you know because being in in shape and working out is mostly mental most people think that it is your body and it is but if you can condition your mind to you know continue to keep going to do one more rep one more set if you can condition your mind to do that you are leaps and bounds ahead of everybody okay but for those of you who are in fitness now and for those of you who are looking to get into fitness and you're scared there's two things with fitness that are so so important patience okay i have learned so much about patience with with fitness i mean fit, fitness has literally taught me to be patient and why do i say that because you're not going to see changes overnight right you're going to have to keep at it in order to see the, the 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 changes and so you have there's a level of patience that comes along with it and it's really mentally it can mess with you but you have to keep that in the back of your mind so it's it's um patience and consistency i cannot i cannot not 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 emphasize how important it is to be consistent with fitness and that that relates to you got your diet is important as well so it relates to your diet and that's actually you guys where i struggle the most because I work out five days a week, but I struggle with being consistent. And I've been working out for over a decade, very consistently, right? But I struggle with the diet part of it. And that is actually the most important part. So you have to be consistent with your diet and you have to be consistent with your workouts, okay? I cannot emphasize to you guys how many times I have been, I wake up and I'm like, damn, I don't feel like going to the gym today. But because I'm determined, and because I know that I have to be patient with the process, I get up and go. And most often, those end up being my best workouts. The workouts where you're like, dang, man, I don't feel like it. I'm tired. I didn't really get that much sleep. I had to run all these errands yesterday. My body's just drained. But you sometimes you just got to get up, take your pre-workout, and get it done. Okay, so consistence patience and also you have to really just ensure that you're making fitness like literally a part of your life i i plan my workouts out like days in advance like for instance two days ago i like today saturday i knew i was going i'm going to do legs tomorrow which is sunday like i knew that a few days ago i literally plan out like kind of you know a day or two in advance okay tomorrow i'm going to do legs and i'm going to do the bike and this saturday like today this morning i did the bike I, I ran and i did a shoulder workout and i did some you know biceps and triceps in there so it's like you have to kind of plan it out it has to be a part of your life you literally have to look at it like that you know i'm 40 years old i'm getting older and I know that, you know, my metabolism isn't quite where it used to be when I was in my 20s and even in my 30s. 
and I want to be fine like today's 40 is not the same 40 that your mama's 40 was you know back in the day like I plan to be fine for a long time and I know now that I'm 40 I still feel youthful I still feel beautiful but I know that just you know biologically things change you know my knees ain't quite the same you know your back is, is is a little feeling a little different you get it's a little different when you get out of the bed in the morning right so given that you know we all if god willing we all want to grow older but we got to take care of our bodies take care of our fitness take care of our minds take care of the way that we eat you know i would rather you know work on myself now and be better with how i take care of myself versus you know getting diabetes runs in my family high blood pressure i don't i want to be so physically fit and healthy that i don't even have to deal with that kind of stuff that's where my mind is at so i you know i just encourage you guys just because you're getting older it doesn't mean that you guys cannot stay physically fit and you can't be determined be patient with yourself you know to do that it's important we have to all make sure that we're doing that as we're getting older and we have especially if we have children you know my daughter runs track you know she works out with me she, she'll be nine this month and you know i want to set a good example for her okay um also let me just say this a lot of women especially don't know where to start when you're in your fitness journey you guys all you got to do start walking if you don't do anything else, if you've never picked up a weight, if you don't, if you've never ran, you never got on the elliptical, whatever, start walking three to four days a week, 20 to 30 minutes. Start there. You know, um, you could walk in your neighborhood, depending on where you live and what the weather's looking like. Walk in your neighborhood, go to the gym, um, you treadmills, you can go to Planet Fitness, whatever, just start walking. And then as you get into the groove of the walking, you're gonna you remember you're gonna work on your diet then after you do that you can start incorporating body weights you can do squats lunges you know you don't have to pick up weights you just because you gotta you uh, it's important for your muscle health as you get older to help you you know not only maintain your body uh your muscular structure and look good but when you have stronger muscles that helps you to ensure that you don't fall it it um prevents injuries there's so much that is important when it comes to building muscle besides just looking good it's it, it improves your overall health of your body so once you kind of get in the groove of walking you want to incorporate strength training into that and then you know you just continue to build up as you get comfortable also ladies that don't like to go to the gym because you think you look crazy or you don't know how to use the equipment just go nobody cares i promise you we're not looking at you i mean unless you just are getting on on a machine and completely using it wrong and just looking absolutely crazy like you're gonna hurt yourself then you know we somebody may look at you like damn let me help show her how to do this but other than that i don't care if you weigh 400 pounds get in the gym i love it when i see you know people who let's just say you're physically obese in the gym at least you're there you're there and you made a decision to make a change in your life to improve your health so who cares what people think just go in the gym i promise people that are bodybuilders all that we, we don't care we're in i know when i go to the gym i'm in there focused and most people feel the same way so just go that is just going is 80 percent of the battle so I wanted to do this video to encourage you all and just to remind you to be patient be consistent and be determined okay those are the three things in addition to again like I said if you've never worked out before just start walking and then you know slowly at your pace whatever you feel comfortable with start adding different elements once you feel comfortable walking maybe you could start doing a bike maybe you could do you know um the elliptical that's a low impact you know um cardio exercise that's you know easy on the knees easier on your joints you know then you start doing you know lunges and, and body you know all with body weight and then you move up to the weights when you feel comfortable and when you advance a little bit more you guys so um yeah just let's all be better we want to live a long life you know as long as god will allow us to live we want to be here and remember that fitness is not only for how you look but it's also you guys it, it mentally it makes you mentally stronger 
and it also helps you with you know different anxiety different depression you know fitness has literally and this is my testimony has helped me through some of the darkest times in my life you know i pray a lot i love to miss listen to music so it's like my meditation it's my time to pray it's my time to just zone out listen to music and just you know focus when you're able to focus on something you know running running you know 5k or when you're able to you know um add an extra weight to you know your squats you know that is a big accomplishment and so you know it just allows me to focus and really go there and so i encourage you guys all to do it you know not only for your bodies but for your minds as well so um yeah drop down in the comments you guys let me know what works for you what are your favorite exercises you know do you like I also like the box too, you guys. I box. Um, it's boxing is um, it, for those of you who are interested to add, you know, a different element of your um, training to your fitness. Boxing is so technical, and I like it because it challenges me. Like you really, when you're boxing, you have to really think. There's so many different move it, movements. Um, you know, and, and it's a lot of it's about your footwork. I have really strong legs. And I'm, you know, boxing, it's just a lot of it is not just your arms and everything, your shoulders and your back, you know, your legs go into your footwork goes into your boxing too. So you guys try boxing out as well. But like I said, let me know what workouts you guys like to do. Um, and what helps you stay mentally motivated to work out? Because especially like those colder months, sometimes it's harder to push yourself to get to the gym, but you got to stay motivated. You guys, we all have to, you know, uh, motivate each other to be better. So with that being said, I just wanted to come to you guys with some words of encouragement. I know I talk, I, you know, I love my reality shows and my celebrity gossip, but fitness is probably outside of my daughter and my boyfriend. Fitness is probably the biggest part of my life. And so I definitely love to talk to you guys about that and share that with you as well. And, um, you know, I hope you guys, you know, get something from this video and let me know, you know, any tidbits, anything that you guys can offer me advice. I love to hear it, you guys. So again, like and subscribe, share this video with anyone who is struggling with fitness, who wants to get into fitness, who is, you know, a fitness competitor, anybody who you know has a love for fitness or is looking to develop a love for fitness please share this video with them you guys and i hope you guys are have done something if you haven't done anything yet today get out there run even if you know do a hit workout for 30 minutes something to get your you know your juices flowing and i promise you it will help you guys have a better day okay so with that being said it's vanity v i'm signing off and i hope you guys have a great rest of your saturday Bye bye